It was 1997 and I was sitting in the back of a Mazda B-Series pickup. And all of a sudden, a big cloud of rustic yet enticing Marlboro Red secondhand cigarette smoke came over me. I had smelt it since I was an infant, but this time it had me jonesing. I knew I needed that good shit and I needed it now. I stole my dad's cigarettes for a while, but that wasn't cutting it. I needed a constant rotation, okay? I couldn't just steal them when he was taking his mid-afternoon nap. So I started an operation with a neighborhood girl, and me and her, we would just go around and we would just steal people's cigarettes. Unfortunately, sometimes they were half-smoking. When you're seven years old with no job, you take what you can get. Until one day, I got discovered. My parents found the cigarettes in my pockets. I was shut off. Everyone knew, everyone was phoned, everyone was aware not to supply me. So it was really hard to get my hands on cigarettes until I got put in behavioral school. You see, a lot of dudes in that school were on day passes from the jail. They were 18, so they could get cigarettes and I could get Adderall. Good deal. I quit like four or five years ago for good. But now every time I go to the doctor's office and the nurse says to me, when did you start smoking? And I say, seven. Teen? No, Linda. I said seven and I meant seven. All of that is true, but uh, that's not why my voice is like this. No, I was on testosterone for years and I have a naturally high voice and that's why you're hearing what you're hearing. I love my voice though. <laughs>